Okay, hello there, Aaron here, hope you're doing alright. Today I'm going to be looking at what I read in, in February uh, before going on to a, a sort of TBR for March. It's going to be a little stricter than normal, um, I tend to be quite loose uh, with um, my selections per month, um, but for sort of different reasons there are some books that I'm putting a bit more pressure on myself to read in March and we'll, we'll get to that a bit later. Um, but in terms of looking at the books in February, there's something I want to do that's a bit different, um, and that's inspired by um, something I saw on Shelley Swearingen's channel. Um, uh, for her February wrap-up, she was really looking at reading trends over the last few months, and then using that as a springboard to look at certain books. And although I'm not really going to be doing exactly what she did in her video, um, I, I certainly don't have any fun catchy titles for each trend um, and I'm not going to be um, going as in-depth as she did um, but I've got a couple of trends here that I've noticed so far uh, this month um, and I thought it'd be cool to have them in mind before looking at the books uh, so um, the first one is that I've been reading more uh, sort of contemporary uh, fiction more literary fiction and sort of modern classics uh, things like that um, which is um, I wouldn't say unusual for me. You know, I, I have read a fair bit of that in the past. Um, there's certainly a fair bit of contemporary poetry and uh, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, but I suppose my focus is often more sort of towards early 20th century writing um, and then sort of more classics from before that. Um, so it's been quite cool to see a shift to more recent writing. Uh, I don't see it as a bad thing at all. Um, uh, it's just... Um, yeah, it's different and it's, it's worth noting. Um, and then number two, which is maybe a slight um, identity crisis, really, for this for this channel, uh, for my reading. Um, I've, I've got pie charts to, to illustrate this. It's that I've been reading less poetry, which is it's terrible, right? <laughs> um, and so, yeah, the, the pie charts here, this first one here, if you can see um, this darker bit, is uh is, is my poetry reading uh so that's a good you know healthy about a third something like that and the rest is sort of prose mainly fiction because that's um, what my reading is like and you know that's fine um but yeah a nice healthy third which i'm quite happy with um really uh, i think that's quite cool uh, but the last two months uh, i've read 11 books and three of those have been uh, have been poetry um, so that's just, you know, just around a quarter of my reading. Uh, it's a little concerning. I'm feeling a little bit like this giraffe here. <laughs> um, oh no. Um, but um, yeah, maybe part of this is to do with the way that uh, sort of Goodreads and Storygraph and sort of tracking my reading, the, the way that maybe changes the way I see a book of poetry. Um, I'm thinking more of the book and less about the poems. Maybe it's certainly some food for thought, and I'm going to be mulling that over, you know, in coming months. Um, but yeah, with those in mind, I thought I'd look at the books that I read in February, and and really the elephant in the room as to why there's been less poetry and there's been more, uh, sort of more recent fiction. Uh, the elephant in the room is the Booktube Prize, and I've been reading uh, translated fiction for the Booktube Prize, and since the last time I checked in with you, I've um, I've finished half of my grouping, so I've read three books from uh, my grouping, um, and I'm not going to talk too much about them, because I don't want to sway um, any other judges, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about all of the books I've read for the Booktube Prize, uh, probably in about a month's time, once I've given in my ballots, and um, the results are out. Uh, but I thought I'd show you each book, uh, so I, I read uh, Leila Smani's the, the Country of Others. Um, uh, it's quite hard to not say anything about them, actually. Um, and then the next one is uh, In Memory of Memory uh, by uh, Maria Stepanova. Um, as you can see, I don't mix very well with a plain white cover. It's very dirty and scuffed. Um, and then the third that I read, I, I did technically finish it on uh, March the 1st. Uh, but I'm, I'm including it anyway. It's The Membranes by uh, Chitawe. Um, and really just a word about all of them is that it's just quite cool that 
I probably wouldn't have read any of these books were it not for the booktube price. Um, so, yeah, I, I just think that's quite a wonderful, you know, wonderful thing that you know some books that um, may never have crossed my path. Um, you know, these are books I've been able to read you know, in, in February, so that's that's quite cool, and I'm, I'm quite quite happy about that. Um, and then I, I finished two books that weren't part of the uh, the booktube prize, uh, but we're, we're both part of of a book club. So the first one is the Sea the Sea by Iris Murdoch. Uh, this was part of the 1001 uh, book club that Sandy from Miss Reads a Lot has started. Uh, and there's a great bunch of people uh, reading this book and it was, I think, a great book to read as part of the group. Um, th there are elements of the book that are quite controversial. Um, so it was great to have different people's opinions. Um, and, and really for me, it's a, a book about how we see other people um, and um, yeah, how the way we see other people sheds light to the way that we deceive ourselves and how those two things are kind of connected, if that makes any sense. Um, and I, I won't give too much away about the plot and stuff, but um, I think really it boils down to that. It's about uh, perception and self-perception. Um, and, the, yeah, there were some really great comments uh, in that group. Um, and then the, the third... Uh, not the third, it was the, the fifth book that I read in February, uh, the fifth book I finished, was uh, T.S. Eliot's Selected Poems. Uh, so as part of uh, the Poetry Book Club um, that me and David Wiley have been doing over the last few months, uh, we were reading The Wasteland and other poems by T.S. Eliot. Um, and yeah, most of them were covered by the Selected Poems. And there, there were some poems in here that we, um, yeah, they weren't part of the sort of reading uh, for the uh, the wasteland and other poems, um, so there was some 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 supplementary reading on my part, um, and that that was good. I think my view of Elliot as a writer hasn't really changed drastically um, over the last month. Uh, my the standout poems for me are still Proof Rock and the Wasteland. Uh, I still enjoy Rhapsody on a Windy Night and The Hollow Men, and. Um, I still don't understand Ash Wednesday, <laughs> um, but uh, I have some newfound appreciation for more of his earlier poems, uh, like Portrait of a Lady, and um, and uh, Preludes. And um, r really, at some point in the future, I want to see if I can get some of Eliot's collected poems, just so I can see, uh, you know, get a bit more of a taste for his earlier poetry, uh, because that's really all there is of his earlier poetry: just proof rock, Preludes. Portrait of a Lady and Rhapsody on a on a windy night. Uh, so um, so yeah, that, that's maybe something to look forward to. Uh, in terms of the poetry book club going forward, um, you know, the only thing I really know is that March is going to be a bit of a a breathing month. Um, as you might have seen on David Wiley's channel, he's uh, sort of decided to take a bit of a breather from uh, the sort of the book clubs uh, that he's been doing, and he's sort of decided to only read books that he. Sort of feels he's in the mood for reading, and um, yeah, that's yeah, that's kind of quite fair, and um, quite happy to uh, give him that space, and, and also give myself that space, and um, and stuff like that. So um, there's not going to be a book for the poetry book club in March, um, and yeah, it's, it's kind of touch and see, and we'll just see how it goes in the future. Um, and then there, there's a handful of books here that are books I um, was technically reading uh, during. February, but I, I just never finished. This is one that's down on Goodreads' reading, but I didn't actually touch in February, uh, which is uh, Borges' Collected Fictions. Um, I'm going to try and at least read one or two short stories uh, from that in March, just as a bit of, just as something different, because there's some big books coming up in March, so it might be just nice to sit down with a short story. Um, I, I read Ivanov by Anton Chekhov. Uh, which was the first play I've ever read by Chekhov. And um, yeah, I, I really quite enjoyed that. Um, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to read um, more Chekhov in March. But uh, yeah, it was a fun play, very melodramatic and over the top at points. Um, but yeah, still fun. And there's a, there's a really great scene in that play uh, that's in a, there's, a, there's like a party going on in someone's house, uh, some kind of soiree. And uh, you just have characters walking in that room, just having different 
conversations, bumping into each other, some sort of unexpected meetings and stuff like that. Um, and just, yeah, with this kind of cast of characters rotating around, it must be really fun to see on stage. Um, but yeah, that was my favourite bit. Um, and then the remaining two, these are two that I, I really hoped I would have made more progress with uh, during the month of February, but just sadly I just didn't get round to them. I think partly due to the um, more of the focus on the booktube prize, uh, I definitely feel like I did less reading than usual in February. I don't know if that's true, but it definitely felt that way. Um, so the, the Fellowship of the Ring didn't really get picked up that much in February. Back in January, um, I was finding it hard not to pick up the Fellowship of the Ring. Um, you know, so I read the first half in January and was really finding it hard not to just read the whole thing. Uh, but then I, I barely picked it up at all in February, so I've still got a, a bit left to go. And, and hopefully I'll finish it soon and we'll, we'll see where it goes with, with the two towers. I might have to pause uh, with Lord of the Rings while I finish a few other things. And then the other one that didn't really get picked up too much was Byzantium by Judith Heron. Um, and um, yeah, it was just sad. I was hoping to have you know, finished it by now, um, but I only picked it up a couple of times. Uh, but what I would say, is it, it is a book that lends itself to that quite well. Um, each, each chapter is kind of talking about its own theme. It's, not, it's kind of roughly chronological, uh, but it's going thematically through the history of Byzantium. Um, so it's quite easy just to read a chapter in isolation every now and then. Um, so um, again, that's probably just a book I'm going to be dipping in and out of, and we'll, we'll just see when I finish it. Um, but that's my yeah my reading in February, and some of those will be carrying on into March. Um, and as it has been in February, my, my main focus is going to be getting these uh, BookTube prize books read. Um, well before the end of March, hopefully in the first couple of weeks, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, and there's one quite small book, one kind of medium average book and one longer book. And I'm, I'm reading the sort of medium one at the moment, which is uh, Civilizations by Laurent Binet. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's going well so far, about 70 pages in. Um, so we'll, yeah, we'll see about that. And then this next one, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. This is Chasing Homer by uh, Laszlo uh, Kovnahoke. And it's, um, it comes with a, a soundtrack. Uh, so I'm looking forward to being able to dedicate the time to just sit down, put the headphones on, and, and kind of sink into it. So we'll see how that goes. And it, again, it shouldn't take very long to read this. It's quite a short book. And as you can see here, the, the margins are quite, quite thin. Um, so that should be fine. Uh, and then the, the third one, which is the, the chunkier one, but I've been, I've been told it, it won't take too long to read. Apparently it's quite a page turner. Um, is, uh, is, is Canal Scarred's The Morning Star. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I was quite happily, I read, um, I read The Death in the Family at the end of last year. And that was a book that I was quite happy to read slowly. Uh, so we'll see how this compares. Um, um, yeah, see whether it's a faster read or a shorter read. Um, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to those three BookTube prize books. Um, and it's been a fun experience so far. Um, but I got, I got a few other books here uh, to read in March. Uh, and the only other sort of main one um, that I want to make a, a good deal of progress with is my March the Mammoths book, um, uh, which is War and Peace by Leo, Leo Tolstoy. Uh, which is also part of uh, the 1001 Book Club. Uh, that's the pick for March. And it's, um, yeah, my, my first time reading Tolstoy. Um, and <laughs> I'm only about sort of 30 odd pages through. <laughs> it's only like, what, like 2% of the whole book. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to pressure myself to finish War and Peace in March. Uh, I think that's... You know, maybe some people can do it, but for me it's quite ludicrous. Um, but I want to get a chunk of it read in March. And then I've got a few books here that I have as provisional books to sort of dip into um, if I feel like it once I finish the, the BookTube Prize reading. And one of these books is a book that I've been wanting to read since January, and I've, I've had it in my bag, I've been taking it everywhere with me. Um, 
And I've always just picked up a different book instead of it, which is uh, Enfant Terrible by uh, Jean Cocteau. Um, so hopefully I'll maybe pick that up at some point in March, because again, it's not very long, so I should be able to manage it. Um, I just, yeah, haven't picked it up yet. Um, and then, yeah, if I finish the um, the Booktube Prize books with sort of plenty of March to spare, uh, I, I might pick up uh, The Two Towers um, and read that, you know, get, get the first half of that read in March. Um, or what I might do is just leave it and um, just read the whole of The Two Towers in April. Um, I'm not quite sure uh, where I'm going to go with it, so... Um, I'm going to be a bit more loose with the Lord of the Rings, I think. Um, and then the, the remaining three are poetry collections. Because as I was saying, I've been reading less poetry. Um, even though I've had the Poetry Book Club, um, I've only been reading about one book of poetry a month, really. And I have here three books of poetry. And my, my goal isn't to read them in, in this month. Um, but really, it's just to have them sitting around as three books of poetry to, to pick up when I'm in the mood for reading a poem. Uh, so the first one is uh, Louise Gluck's Averno. Um, as I've said before, I, you know, sort of only just discovering her, her poetry um, and I want to get to know her writing better. So I'm going to be reading some Louise Gluck. Uh, there's also C.P. Kavafi, another poet that I'm hoping to read this year and just haven't got around to yet. Um, and then uh, the third is W.S. Graham. And I've got his new collected poems here, which I think for maybe six months or, or longer, I'm not sure. I've been saying, yeah, I really want to read this, and I just haven't got to it yet. Um, so, um, yeah, th th there, there are the three poets that I'm going to be dipping in and out of. We have Louise Gluck, C.P. Cavafy, and W.S. Graham. And, and the aim is just to, uh, you know, read poems in isolation from their books whenever I'm in the mood for poetry um, and eventually I'll, you know, I'll finish the books uh, but I'm, I'm not putting that pressure on myself for the poetry I'm just going to enjoy the poems so there we have it there's uh, everything I read in February um, and some plans for March um, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to the booktube prize reading and then I've got some other sort of fun stuff around that um, so yeah I, I look forward to uh, so seeing what you guys are going to be reading uh, in March if you make videos. If you don't make videos, feel free to uh, let me know what, what you're reading in, in March. Uh, but yeah, I think there we have it. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.